glory be to God. <laughs> I want to thank every each and one of y'all because did you did not know that you know that that 2K ha, just dropped some gameplay trailer news. Ha, and I'm out here to give the news to all the 2K stands. Ha, glory be to God. Ha, glory be to God. Ha. <laughs> Excellent. Well, guys, we got to talk. 2K just dropped its latest trailer for NBA 2K21. And there's quite a few things in it. Uh, let's get the most obvious things out of the way. Number one, this whole thing about people saying that it was going to be the 2K world, that's pretty much true at this point. 2K basically dropped this trailer today and they put a snippet in of what you can see as a 2k beach now anybody that has been playing this game for a long time or understands the marketing behind this game or knows this franchise really well knows that they're not just gonna skip and cut and just put one thing in there and then not add in all the other things that people are asking for in terms of making this neighborhood or this world feel more real so this 2k beach is literally just one piece of this world that's been built out now i don't know that for sure i don't have any sources but like i said i've been playing this game for a long time 10 plus years i pretty much I, i've been watching all of the media rollouts and everything going along with it this is pretty much what we're getting from in stands of in terms of a neighborhood so um yeah I, I just think that like when you see a particular game or a company that you follow and you follow for years and years and years and you kind of know how they operate at this point there's not too much that's gonna really surprise you especially when they put out those cards to all of the, the bigger youtubers you know that was kind of a hint right then and there that we're gonna open this thing up and make it more of the world and if you look at the trailer if you slow it down and you look at the trailer the parts where they start putting up all the different cities and things like that that's a part of this thing that they're trying to make it feel like this entire world because once you expand from the neighborhood what can you go to next? You gotta go to something bigger, which in my opinion has to be the world. Now, uh, like I said, I don't 100% know for sure about that, but I mean, if you look at the trailer, all of the signs are there. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't something along the lines of the world or, you know, the, the countries or whatever, but the world makes more sense. Now, with that being said, uh, the next thing I wanted to speak on, so they got up all this stuff more Berlin, there's Hoops neighborhood, right there you can see it says 2K Beach, you can see the rec center is still there, so that Mamba Center thing, it sounds like uh, that was a lie. Um, they've got the 2K Shoe Store, which means that they aren't partnering with Foot Locker again. Um, and then in terms of career, colleges are back. So if you see here, this guy has on a uh, jersey in career for the Gators. Colleges are back. So I guess that's a, a cool thing. You know, I guess career is going to be expanded again. But there's not much outside of like what normally happens in real life in terms of hoops that 2K has implemented. I think one of the most creative stories was the one that when the guy started overseas or whatever. So, you know, that was pretty dope. But, I mean, in terms of gameplay for current gen, I didn't really see a whole bunch of new animations. Um, they did focus on walking size ups. I feel like that was a talking point that it was a mark that was heavily missed over the last year. Um, all of these dunks that I'm seeing in this trailer, they all look like dunks from years past. And obviously they added in a couple new dunks here and there and things like that. But I didn't see them in this trailer. You're, you're basically, with 2K21, you're basically getting a polished version of 2K20. I, I, I want people to be very aware of what happened at the very beginning of the trailer. Damian Lillard shot a three in somebody's face. It's going to be what it's going to be. But I just, oh man, I, I don't know what to say. It's like you keep seeing people complain about the same thing over and over and over again in the community and then they put it in the trailer. 
So you can definitely expect some huge rage moments this year from a lot of people that play this game. If the very first shot is Damian Lillard shooting a contested three with a guy right underneath him. Now, are his hands up? No, they're not up. But at the same time, that was the issue that going into 2K20, a lot of people have from 2K19. Because you could literally be right in a guy's face, but if your hands were down, it didn't register as an accurate contest. And in my opinion, man, I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. I, I don't know why they decided to do it like this, but it is like this. So, you know, this is what, <laughs> this is what we're getting. Like in terms of these animations and all this kind of, kind of stuff, like, you know, I'm not really seeing much from there. I think what makes the most sense from a standpoint of a game like 2K, and obviously they show a lot of the size ups and things like that. They didn't show a lot of layups. Um, they showed a lot of two player animations, which I think is probably gonna be a problem. Um, because there was a, a video that was somebody already put out that talked about those two player animations and how those two player animations pretty much throw out all of the, the stats of your player at that particular time. So that to me, I feel like is gonna be a problem. Jason Tatum is also shooting somebody's face. You got Trey Young nutmegging somebody in the middle of the game. So I, I don't know, man. Like I said, I'm trying to get a game a chance. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna play it all year. I'm gonna make content on it. But from this trailer, I'm not seeing signs of anything that is like just gonna be game breaking. I mean, like game changing in terms of gameplay. I, I mean, I, it's cool, you know. If you're talking about hoops or whatever. You got the neighborhood. Obviously, you know, they added sections onto that. They're talking about shoes, music, career, obviously with college. But like I said, Damian Lillard hitting his shot in this guy's face from the very jump. We in for a long year, y'all. We in for a long year in terms of gameplay. Now, uh, does that mean that the game won't be fun? The game's gonna be fun. But it, it's, it's definitely going to be one of those games where like, I feel like they're two k's at a point where they, for a current gen where they're like, hey, we're blowing doors off this thing. Have at it. Do whatever you want because this is the last game on current gen. And then basically this game is what it is. And then the next gen game will be even better than this. So maybe some quirks or some things that you find in this game when you go to next gen, that stuff will be resolved. So, those are just my speculations on it. Hopefully, I mean, this is what we have, people. We're not getting NBA Live. So, this is what we have. This is what we're gonna play. Let's try to enjoy it. <laughs> Let's try to enjoy it. Let's try to make the most out of it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I am excited for the game. I really am excited for the game. I didn't like the fact that they got people shooting people's face. Um, at the beginning of the trailer that to me is just like that's crazy talk i'm about to get on the internet right now see what people saying on twitter guys if you are have been following me make sure to hit that subscribe button uh like the video share the video if you feel like it's something that needs to be shared and yeah until next time my name is air samurai happy saturday